Very good morning to all of you. Start your trading day with Carvey Morning Moves. Markets ended with a positive bias for the fourth consecutive week on account of consistent buying from a foreign institutional investors and increasing hope of a rate cut by a central bank in upcoming monetary policy stayed on 5th April 2016. Nifty gained 112 points or 1.47% to close at 7716 levels. Overall breadth of the market has remained positive where the banking, IT and commodity stocks outperformed the market, whereas the pharma stock remained underperformed during the week. Global market remained choppy amid geopolitical concern after militants targeted Brussels Airport and City Metro Station on the last Thursday. Meanwhile, Crushing the crude oil price kept risk appetite in check ahead of a long disturbed week. Technically, Nifty is well placed above its 21 and 50 days exponential moving average and approaching towards the major 200 days exponential moving average, which is currently placed near 77 80 levels. In the coming week, with the expiry of a March contract, market are likely to trade with a positive bias and likely to hit towards. 70, 780, 7800 levels, above which the next resistance is placed around 7860, 7900 levels. On the downside, supports are placed near 7600 levels, followed by 7500, 7540 levels. Therefore, we recommend trader to buy if it is sustained above 7720 levels for the upside target of 7780, 7800 levels, keeping a stop loss below 7670 marks. For today, we have a 5 calls out of which we are giving a 3 long and 2 shorts. UPL is a buy in the range of 453, 454, keeping a stop loss of 448 for the target of 465. Siemens is a long in the range of 1089, 1090, keeping a stop loss of 1077 for the target of 1115. LIC Housing Finance is a long above 480, keeping a stop loss of 474 for the target of 490. Gale is a short call. In the range of 357 to 358, keeping stop loss of 362 for a target of 348. Biocon is again a short below 461, keeping stop loss of 466 for a target of 452. Have a nice trading session. Thank you.